Hello there. This is your friend Velma Hagar with her little book, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places. And if you're not reading it right now, you really need to be because I know that I know that I know that everybody needs perking up right now. But first I have to show you my new cup. This is delivered today. This is from my friend Anthony Carmen and Michelle and it says, what happens at Bubby's house stays at Bubby's house. <laughs> what happens at Bubby's stays at Bubby's. Is that cute or what? Thank you guys. And now here's my first sip. Here's looking at you kids. Okay, we're gonna talk about something really serious today. <clears throat> but not until I show you, I remember I told you I was gonna show you things that I love. I love angels. This is a little sleeping angel. I have angels all over my house. So angels and birds kind of are a lot of my decor. It's just, I love them. And you know, I think of them not only as, I think of them as actual. I really believe I have angels surrounding me. I know I do. The word says I do. So if the word says it, I believe it. Today, you know what I want to talk about? This pandemic. This pandemic has caused such a rift between people. You know, the other day my daughter was at a function and we took pictures and a bunch of her friends came in and attacked her, you know, that she was selfish. And I have to tell you something. If somebody says anything to you about not wearing a mask or not being in fear, first of all, the first thing I tell them is this. Look, it's my body my choice and i got that from you guys my body my choice if you are scared doggone it stay home and wear your mask i'm not scared okay and i don't want to be scared i know that my god is in control of my life now am i respectful yes do i abide by the rule yes if i go somewhere and they want me to put a mask on i do it i think it's stupid and when people come by me and go put your mask up you don't mind your own business. You put your mask up. You're the one that's scared, not me, okay? That is number one. So remember this, my body, my choice. They started that one, okay? Now the next thing, and this one is so important. Do you know that while these people are screaming about 0.001% of these people that get COVID and die, now hear that? 0.001% of them get it and die. In the meantime, did you know that suicides are up 398% because people are being forced to stay home? Depression is off the charts because people are forced to stay home. And these people are gonna tell us that we're selfish? Hello, I'm sorry. But that 398% increase in suicides makes me mad. And it should make you mad too. That they are forcing this on us. If you don't want to die, go to China with all those other Democrats. Because China is in on this, I'm telling you right now. You are defending China when you defend this. I'm so angry. You know, you go through a time where you want to be nice. I've tried to be nice. This whole thing, Biden, Biden did not win. He lost and it's cheaters. And if you are an American and you are standing with Biden right now and that cheating, you, I just pray everything comes back on you and it will because he cheated to get in. And if you're an American, doggone, it doesn't matter if it's a Republican or an American, we should not allow cheating in our election. It's proven. It's proven over and by thousands of witnesses. Even some Democrats who came forward who were at the polls said it was they were cheating. Good God. So you know what? I don't even want to be your friend if you're still over there. I am so disgusted with any American, anybody who calls themselves an American and yet would defend this trash. They're not standing up for this country. They're defending those people that are burning down buildings and destroying businesses. And now they're trying to destroy the businesses by shutting them up with this COVID. Go home and wear your mask if you're scared. I'm furious. I'm really, really mad. I've 
had it. No more tiptoeing around, no more, but well, we don't want to hurt their feelings because we're Christians. No, no more. I'm not ever going to stand up for evil, nor should you. And I'm going to tell you something. Those gallows that are being built to, to destroy this president and Christians, you're going to end up hanging on them if you're one of them. You're going to end up hanging on them. I guarantee you because that's how my God works. So stop this nonsense of trying to destroy America. I'm mad. And I mean it. <laughs> oh, God. I even felt my blood pressure rise. <laughs> but you know what? It's true, you guys. I am so fed up with it. I know most of you are, too. You can't watch the news. If you're watching the news and then quoting what they say, or you're believing what they say, you're an idiot. Because the news media is the false prophet. They're in with China. And so is Biden and his little his little. Jezebel that came in with him. You know, if we elect a woman president, I want to elect her. I don't want them doing this, putting an old buzzard in there that's going to die, and she's going to move into a slot. She's going to sneak in. No, I'm not going for it. Do not go for it. They're, they're censoring us. They're blocked. They're, we don't have, our First Amendment is no good anymore. Don't stand for this. Stand up for America. Start praying. Start praying, because only God can change this now. It's gone so far. And those of you that are over there, my God, make the change. I pray that your eyes are open and you make the change. We're going to be a communist country very soon if you don't make... No, it's not you because you know what? God is going to take over here. But you're going to be on the wrong side when he does. Oh, God. Get my book. <laughs> my book is way more encouraging than I am right now. But if you are depressed, I want to say... You know, the word says to praise for the spirit of heaviness. And heaviness is nothing more than depression. I know it's rough right now. Staying home, being forced to stay home, staying away from your family. Some of you don't even have any interaction with anybody. And I know it's depressing. Stay in the word of God. Sing praises to the Lord. Read the word of God. The word says that um, his word is healing to all the flesh. So read the word of God and, and let it heal your flesh and let it heal your heart and your soul. I pray right now for all of those who are depressed. I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would lift hearts right now. Lift people up, Father, and show them truth. Father, I feel bad for those people that are on that other side that really are fighting and believing. They honestly believe they're on the right side, Lord. Father, I pray that you would enlighten them. I pray for the biggest the biggest revelation to come over all Americans, Lord, that they would see truth. I pray that you strike down the evil, strike lightning on the evil, Lord. Bring them, take them out of here, Father. Take them out in the name of Jesus. And Father, bring that unity back to America. Lord, forgive me for getting angry because I know that the wrath of man will never accomplish your purposes. But Lord, I believe this is righteous anger. I am so mad at what they're trying to do to our beautiful country. Father, please help us. You know the ins and the outs and you know everybody's heart. And I pray right now that everyone that's listening to this will understand what you want, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayer. And you just lift up spirits right now. It's Christmas time. Let's be happy. I think I might put a little brandy in here. <laughs> I think I need a little brandy. I got mad. Well, I was, I was, I'm passionate about this because I know that I know that I know that I'm right. I know I'm right. There's no doubt in my mind. This is China trying to take over America. And they're sneaking in. All right. With that said, open your doggone eyes <laughs> and subscribe. You know, I might get, you might even get some better news than this. I mean, I'll tell you what, subscribe. All right, you guys, until next time, this is Velma Hagar bidding you a blessed day and telling you to open your eyes and don't be depressed. Try praising God, it works. Bye.